Hello everybody and welcome back to Crusader Kings 2 with the adventures of the Dictopolis family. Horse baby boy. Well, what a dumb name. <laughs> Is the Zealot Tangri leader. You see he's very zealous, gregarious, child of the concubine. He's a tough soldier. He's ambitious, patient, and proud. He's crushed some major revolts. And he studied religious stuff. That's his big thing as a zealot person, obviously. Kind of taking a look at England. Where are we? We are at 1018. Fate smiles upon my concubine. Sylvia is pregnant. Oh, she doesn't have any kids yet. I like how it says man. It's like, you are my man. He's like, honey, I'm a lot of people's mans. Because he's got three concubines and a wife with some nappy hair. I call her the Napster. I download music from her. What the hell is that going on? Whoa. I think... Maybe it's a good thing we lost Magyar. I believe that is the flag there of a host. Yep. A host company, which is basically... I still think it's kind of bullshit. These magic unlanded guys. You have guys who don't have any land. But they have a claim on something and they'll get a huge army. And they're fighting the king of Magyar. So maybe there'll be a new new king of Magyar very shortly. He's like the third... My Emperor, I'm pleased to report that the majority of the population in Perm has uh, converted to the Tangri faith. Excellent. See, in times of trouble, in this time of trouble as rebels have taken control of the area, it's convinced people when the Orthodox rebels to come in to embrace Tangri the Goose God, to fly them out of trouble, to deliver them to safety. This rebel army is shrinking even more. They originally, I believe, were 4,000 strong. Um... Yeah, they're getting weaker and weaker. My liege, my success in my mission. This is our new um, chancellor. So he went to go kiss up to the emperor, the child emperor of the Byzantine Empire. I assume he gave him candy and stuff. He's like, I gave him candy and a puppy. He was born in the purple. His honor bestowed only on children born of a ruling Basilius or Basiliuses in the purple chamber in the Imperial Palace. So is that like super gold, uh, silver spoon in your mouth? We really need our retinue here. That's the army right there with the 722 soldiers. We need that to grow up. I don't mean like becoming an adult. I mean like hire new troops because our retinue got decimated. The number on the left is how many troops we have. The number on the right for all these categories is how many we are supposed to have and just... So many wars that got uh, damaged. My son, Ragu Pasta Son, is a tender and loving soul, trusting everyone in the castle. I fear he'll get hurt someday. We're going to brag about him. Oh, wait, that's going to piss people off. No, we're going to thank Tangri for his virtues. Because he's... I want to role play it, right? And Horse Baby Boy is really zealous. So we're like, dear Tangri Goose God, thank you for making my son awesome. Wait, that means our kid is wroth. He likes to fight and hit people. Oh, well, that's not good. So much peace. Man, our country is kind of like a snake as it wiggles and woms. <laughs> it slithers all over the place. Najida Improva needs to improve a bit. She became Midas touched in the legal age. I wonder if we can arrange a marriage to anybody powerful. Yeah, our high priest? No. Uh, none of those are really... How about a matrilineal marriage? Uh, not to any family members. What about this guy? Yeah, look, I engaged you to... Um, I betrothed you to some little kid. He's 14. Ah, oh, you only have to wait a couple years, honey. Then you can rob the cradle. Or do it now. I don't care. That's between you and your child, bro. <laughs> Very classy. So who is the new king here? Antel Wheat! Wait a second. You see this guy? He's the one who first declared war on us for Magyar. And then the guy who is in charge here secondly declared war. We surrendered to the first guy because I didn't want to waste all the troops on the war. He took over. Then the second guy came in, kicked him out. Now this guy somehow managed to raise an army of thousands of people... To take it over again. I 
My brother, Prince Bernadine, has requested to join the Lords of the Sky in their tireless pursuit of heathenry, even though this will forever disinherit him. That's awesome. Wait, he's got a claim on everything we do, and he wants to join the group the Lords of the Sky, which is a religious group? Go with my blessing, dude. Become a Sky Lord. Um, where is he now? <laughs> is he, did he go to the east somewhere? That's all right, whatever. Be a Sky Lord. You rule that sky. This is getting small enough. If that can get under 800, we might have a place. Oh no, none of those are going to be big enough to stop them. How popular are we? Do we dare raise, raise taxes? I really don't want to raise taxes. Because that's going to make people very unhappy with us. But we really need some money. Drastically. I honestly... I, I'm not worried about raising levies. In fact, we could almost lower... We could almost lower tribal levies because we have so few tribal areas. A daughter was born to Emperor Horse Baby Boy and Sylvia. Ooh, our concubine finally had one. Sylvia, you finally made a baby. Named Dana. That's a nice name. And they'll be like, little Dana will be like, that's all I remember of my dad. He was like, your name is nice. And then I didn't see him again. Oh, who can get a minor title? We're going to appoint a new commander? Uh, this guy's uh, military is 13. We'll give it to Braslav. Yes, defeat. These rebels continue to move, but they continue to die. That's the important thing. I hope this um, rebellion burns itself out. Oh, they'll be able to take this, though. I love how in the eastern part of the Empire, we're like, okay. <laughs> They're like, rebels are taking us all over. We're like, yeah. My liege, it is most unfortunate you happen to hold a title that I agree should be mine. Your vassal chief, Aleski? Dude, you already have a tri You already have a title. How many do you need? You don't even have the claims on anything else. We're going to reject it dip diplomatically. We're going to be like, old man, go die in a grave. What? I don't want to. You're going to. Tangris declared it. Oh, no. Suck it, old man. You got a hot wife, though. Hot milf times. Quit looking at my hot wife. Never. It is taking us forever to not only rebuild our retinue, but to try and get out of debt because all the money goes right into rebuilding the military. Come on. We need three more years to pass so that we can get rid of this new administration penalty here. Man, I would love to fight the Bulgarians, but I don't think that's a good idea. Oh, and we're bankrupt again. Well, I'm sorry there's so much bankruptcy to watch. <laughs> Let's speed things up a little bit and see what happens. Earlier, you may have seen there was an army up here. They were rebels. Not rebels, they were raiders. They ran away when they saw this giant rebel army show up. But this rebel army is down to a thousand. We may just beat them by having done nothing. My concubine is pregnant, but I was away, wasn't I? Sylvia? Oh, wait, you're Danka? That's why I was fucking around. Well, she doesn't have the sex box, so maybe not. Because usually the people that cheat with the slutty people end up getting slut pox. Uh, let's go over to Spain. Kind of take a look here. You say Leon and Italy. Leon Jenkins! Galatia. All these Catholic countries trying to push the Muslims out. My emperor, I'm pleased to report the majority of the population of Surge has become Tangri. 
Is that like that drink? It's kind of interesting. Wherever the Orthodox army is going, it seems to encourage people to be the opposite of them. That's cool. That's a Tangri outpost up in the distant north. Man, this religion keeps getting more and more kick-ass. I want pictures of gooses or geese. Like like in the, in the Tangri chapels, in the great Sistine Tangri churches. I want murals um, painted on the roof, on the walls, everywhere. Of like awesome gooses, geeses, whatever. Like riding skateboards and driving, I don't know, Harleys. Drinking booze. Today my half-brother, Sindongrathus in the fourth, asked for a fife of his own. Um, you can have nothing. You're welcome. He's like, oh man, I'm mad. You didn't give me anything. That's right, go suck a dick. My son Ragu Pasta, son, is a charitable little rascal. He gave his newest toy to the Smith's son. Aw, that was so nice of him. Charitable. It was that my liege, I have tried to make the mayor cosmos of Harry and realize, realize what a benevolent leader you are. All right, so this guy, the mayor here, he's down here in Constantinople. He doesn't matter. The guy likes us less. Who cares? We don't need everybody like us. We just need the emperor of the Byzantine Empire. This little kid here. It's amazing that little kid can strike fear into everybody. All right, our son Fruity Loops. He needs to be educated. Yeah, we'll have our nephew educate him. That's fine. My liege, I've collected a tithe of Sophia. The money should reach you together with this letter. Yes! Our steward, our kinsman, the High Chief Lubajamir Perm, brought us in 90 gold. We are in the plus! It's not going to last, but it'll help us rebuild some things. Hells yeah. Who is that army? The army of Dan? Wait, is that related to our Dan? That can't be. You have a new heir. Ooh, we have a new baby son. He's not gonna be named Lube. He's gonna or Luba. He's gonna be named Lube Job. <laughs> Lube Jabe. <laughs> there we go. My new son, Lube Jabe. And luckily, the kid is too young to have any kind of concept. Who is your dad? Or oh, your mom is your Donka. Wait, that's the one where you might not be my kid. Oh, we'll have some more boys. Horse Baby Boy is still pretty young. He's 27. Oh man, he's about to take that. Defeat! They're at 66% war score. What's in Surge? My big hope is that he can't take enough territory in the East to win his revolt. And then he's going to have to come cross central europe maybe get attacked by people maybe die or have people die of attrition um and come to a place where then our vassals can kick his ass easy let's see three well that's about 500 he still outnumbers those areas there that city there has yet to recover oh he's going to ugra first but that place is really weak because raiders had fucked it up All of our money is gone already from the special tax thing. But look how quickly our retinue has gotten up to 1300 already. Much needed. If we could get a little bigger, we could actually go raid with it. Okay, Betrothed can get married? Who is this dweeb? Oh, that's that kid that we um, betrothed to our niece. I'm going to touch the lady parts. I'm sorry, niece. She looks so mad. Why did you hook me up with that loser? I'm going to touch all the lady parts. Sorry. Sorry, niece. I'm really sorry about that. Mistakes were made. Mostly by me. What we need is a weak country that we can go raid. Oh, that's not weak enough. What we really need is like 3,000 troops to do it safely. Emperor, I'm pleased to report the majority of the population in Licorice 
uh, has been converted to the Tangri Faith. That's great. I love licorice. I'm sorry if you get bored each time I look at them, but after all the work we did, ooh, look at that, right up in Catholic country. All this soon, in the Slavic Catholic regions. Because if you look there, like, that's Slavic. That's probably Catholic, yep. Man. That's one hell of a popular goose. That's old Tangri, that doesn't really help us. Alright, the Rubble Army in the north, down to 953. They're at 67% war score. I hope they don't get to 100. They might. I hate to, but I think we're going to have to move our retinue up in the north just in case. So if it does come down here, we'll be ready to counter it. Oh, interesting. The host army got beat there, I think. Ooh, they're fighting there. Maybe we have an opportunity to raid that area. Because we're not going to get it back anytime really soon. Actually, we could. Oh, we need to get in the positives financially. Word has reached me that an ambitious adventurer, Behoretic, is gathering men for an attack of our territory. Oh, not again. I really think this adventure mechanic is such bullshit. He doesn't even have a claim on any of our territory. He has no claims on any of our territory, and yet he's going to show up with thousands of men magically. He doesn't even own any territory. Well, what we're going to do is try and assassinate him, I believe. Oh, that's not going to work. Oh, now we're fucking screwed. He doesn't even have any money. He's 135 gold pieces in debt. But on August 9th, um, 1022, he's going to have a magic giant army that's going to show up for him. Oh, man, that mechanic pisses me off because it's such a shit game mechanic. I don't know, maybe we should wait right here for the Megiar War and see how that ends up. Oh, fuck it, we're going to go looting and we're going to go in there and see what happens. He shouldn't be able to raise enough troops in there to stop us. Here comes the army. So the fight is on. All right, somebody discovered a plot. I don't really care. That was our um, spy man saying, I discovered a plot about some shit. Excellent, we just trashed that army. Actually, I don't think there's going to be anything for us to loot here. Uh, my liege, I'm pleased to report the majority of the population of Trenson. I don't even know where that is. It's amazing how many places we have conquered, and I've got no idea where the hell they are. And Plock! I know where Plock is. No, stop the... God damn it. Pause. Apparently you can't pause the thing from there. Alright, let's try this again. Alright, so Trenson is right there. Oh man, that is so cool. It worked so long for it. Alright, let's get out of debt. I want to declare war on these guys. I want to take Rama back at the very least. Fate smiles upon me. My wife, Paiva, is pregnant. Man, he's going to have so many damn kids. Come on, let's just get in the positives here. This area is so weak. It is just ripe for the taking. He's got 82 troops. 
All right, we're going to declare war on him and claim Magyar back. Maybe that'll be a bad idea because more people are going to want it, but whatever. You know what we might want to do too while we're at it is why not raise some troops in the east? I mean, the host army he fought, he basically destroyed. Where is this guy? Oh, he's in the middle of... What is that? Galatian territory? Why does he even want to fight me? He literally has no claim on my territory. Can I invite him to court? No. The war isn't going quite as I thought it would. I lose more men per battle than I planned, and the siege is, the siege just is going on forever. Should they are be going on? More manpower and more siege weapons is what I need. Perhaps a friend could assist me with this. We could ask a friend to join the war, Shaman Bertalan. Or we could ask a friend for money help. Oh, we're going to ask him for money help. We need all the money help we can get. And while we're at it, you, sir, send your troops to the front. And you, sir, send your troops to the front. Oh. Sometimes there are too many messages at once, and I'm like, I don't care about all your damn messages. My letter to Shaman Birch, Bertalan could have gotten lost in any number of ways, and truthfully, sometimes I wish it would. The shame of having to ask a friend for help gnawed at me until I got sure Shaman Bertalan's response. Uh, he sent me money for troops. He's going to pay 3.5 gold to the Emperor. I don't even know where this guy is. Oh, cool. He's up in Plock. That's so awesome. That's Tangri now. That originally had a pagan leader. Um, well, it was a ta ta Tangri heresy leader. And we replaced him. But actually, this should be the end of the video. Man, I feel a little all over the place. Look at the war in the east. They've almost conquered everything out here. They've still got to take that little city there. And they're still going to be under 100%. Most excellent. Oh, but they do have that there they can go after. Which has about 600 troops. Actually, closer to 550. They're down to 796. It's close. I'll see you all next time. Thanks for hanging out.